you for coming this evening and joining in this time of worship. Uh, we want to enter into a time of thinking about God and what he has done for us. We continue with the song that reminds us that God is in this place. together and if you could respond with the part that says all uh, that would be wonderful God our Father we call on you like little children because we know that you love us and care for us like a loving parent you have told us that those who believe in your name have the right to be called the children of God we are Make us children of quietness and heirs of peace. Kindle us fire of your love. And strengthen our weakness by your power. As we do as your children. Oh, 
Truly, I say to you, unless you turn and become like children, you will never enter the kingdom of heaven. Whoever humbles himself like this child is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven. we hear the cry of King David after his sin with Bathsheba, asking God to create in him a clean heart and forgive his sins and to renew a right spirit within him. And then he goes on to say, and then I will teach transgressors thy ways and I'll know the joy of your salvation. This next song walks us through that process and the song that follows looks forward to that day when uh, as we can talk to each other and talk to those around us about the joy of our salvation. There are other people who witness and will be that witness also.
for my Lord? Who will be a witness for my Lord? Who will be a witness for my Lord? Oh, I'll be a witness for my Lord. That's helpful. And just on this row right here would be great. There you go, right on the front side. There we go. We're getting it figured out. All right. There you go. You want to come sit right here? There. I have a question for you. Do you know what you want to be when you grow up? Do you want to know? Or have an idea of what you think would be fun? What do you think would be fun? Firefighting. Oh, you want to say it again? Firefighting. All right, firefighting. <laughs> All right, that's a great thing because when there's fires, it's usually bad. Unless it's a bonfire, if it's a campfire in my campground, then no, 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 that fire. Good, anything else? Ah, uh, fire group. No one knows each other, so we'll move on. <laughs> In the Bible, there are a lot of people who did a lot of different things. Uh, they worked with their hands, and they thought with their minds, and did a lot of things. And they did them in a way that brought honor and glory to God. And so what we want to do at, uh, t tonight is look at some of those things that people did in the Bible. And it's a little bit like a quiz game where you try to guess what... Uh, the person's name is, okay? And if you don't know, we will then ask the uh, grown-ups if they can help. And if they don't know, uh, we'll ask Jeremy, the president of the Bible College. <laughs> 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 and if he doesn't know, uh, we, we won't go there. All right, we'll just go <laughs> So anyway, here we have occupations in the Bible.
spent most of my time working as a carpenter, I've had the incredible blessing and responsibility of raising God's son. Anybody know? Joseph. That's right, I'm Joseph the carpenter. Anything. 
Then the master showed up, and he told us to throw our net to the other side of the boat. And I was like, we fished all night, and you think switching sides of the boat is going to make any difference? But the master has a sense of humor, so we did what he said. And let me tell you what, we had so many fish, we could hardly haul them in. Our net started to tear, and I thought our boat was going to sink. That was quite the experience. Do you know who I am? Simon. That's right, I'm Simon Peter the Fisherman. Fish, and it's all too far.
singing carols and other songs out of the hymn book and uh, someone suggested we sing the next song which is Come Ye Disconsolate and it is a song that talks about um, in times of trouble and times of feeling anguish uh, we are invited to come. God says come to me and uh, several people mentioned how this song had been meaningful, meaningful for them over the past couple years especially with the uh, pandemic and the unrest that was involved. And so we invite you to listen to this song and think about how God invites you to come and to give your burdens to him.
himself would ascend from heaven with a cry of command. With the voice of an archangel, and with the sound of the trumpet of God. And, and the dead in Christ will rise first. Then we who are alive, who are left, will be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. And so we will always be with the Lord. Therefore, encourage one another with these words. As God's children, we look forward to a glorious future. Listen to the words of John. Then I saw a new heaven and a new earth. For the first heaven and the first earth had passed away, and the sea was no more. And I saw the holy city, New Jerusalem, coming down out of heaven from God, prepared as a bride adorned for her husband. And I heard a loud voice from the throne saying, Behold, the dwelling place of God is with man. He will dwell with them, and they will be his people. And God himself will dwell with them as their God. He will wipe away every tear from their eyes. And death shall be no more. Neither shall there be mourning, nor crying, nor pain anymore. For the former things have passed away. And listen to the words of Isaiah. The wolf shall dwell with the lamb, and the leopard shall lie down with the young goat. And the calf and the lion and the fattened calf together. And the little child shall lead them. They shall not hurt or destroy in all my holy mountain. For the earth shall be full of the knowledge of the Lord as the waters cover the sea.
and find the song it may be at morn and we don't know what time of the day it will be we don't know what it will be like when the clouds burst open and Jesus comes back but let's sing about it now could you stand please and join us as we sing verses 1 2 and 4 it may be at morn Na -da -da. it may be at morn when the day is away when sunlight through darkness of shadow is breaking, that Jesus will come in the fullness of glory to receive from the world his soul. Oh, Lord Jesus, how long, how long ever shall in the closing prayer and any Corral alumni who are here if you could come up and join us in singing Lloyd Kaufman's arrangement of Abide With Me Tis Even Tide we have some copies up here you can look off uh, so if you could come up quickly please that would be great sure. thank you for being here again and worshiping with us 
Uh, it is a delight to be together as the people of God, and I trust that your hearts have been lifted this evening. Let's pray. God, once again, we thank you for the gift of music, for the gift of being together as your people, and most of all, for the gift of your salvation. And now, Lord, we do ask that you go with us as we seek to live out uh, your kingdom here in here on earth as it is in heaven. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. 